Peace and blessings and so much love. Thanks for tuning in with God. It's hard dear. This is story time. So I was working as a head start teacher, lead head start teacher for this company. And the first two years, it was pretty good. But entering my third year, we had lost like 10 teachers just started just leaving. And I had decided to leave after a couple months of stress back in December, but I was convinced to come back because things was going to change. But I came back and nothing changed. I didn't get a consistent, I uh, didn't get a consistent uh, teacher assistant. Um, every day it was um, a different person. Then if, because there's a, a shortage of teachers in the building, if I was in ratio, I wasn't going to get no help. Or there's times where I have to work with one or two people over ratio because another class may have had uh, more kids than I. And there's supposed to be two teachers in each classroom at all time in the Head Start program. So that's the stress that I have been feeling, I'm feeling not having a consistent teacher or working with someone who's not passionate about the job. So I decided to quit. Again, I do have another job, but I didn't get no two weeks notice because I didn't want no one coming to me trying to guilt trip me into staying for the kids. When I'm unhappy, and if I'm unhappy, then it's not going to benefit the kids. Staying someplace where I'm unhappy or wake up in the morning, fine, and then drag and go to work. That's not self-love. Self-love is taking care of you first mentally, emotionally, as well as physically. So now my coworkers at the job are mad about me and they're gossiping about me because I decided to say, look, I can't take it no more. I did what I can. This job is affecting my overall health. And I have a family outside this job. I could drop dead on that job and they're only going to replace me. 